I'm enjoying that. So, uh, the, what do they do? Obviously, there's an independent body. Gosh, what what things they're going to unearth is uh, wouldn't shock me now in terms of there's obviously the scandal most recently mis misogyny. Uh, there was a race one, I think a couple of years ago. Do do I believe rugby is misogy probably misogynistic? Probably yes, definitely. Definitely, I think male sport in general. If the put if a male didn't say they were sexist in some way or form, they're liars, um, because it might be a, 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 a juxtaposition and 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 jest yes and a joke. Did you really mean it? I've been brought up by my childhood, my mom, my grandmother, my aunt. If I say a comment like that, it's like James. Did you really go there? It's like, let me explain. But I apologize because I didn't mean it into be uh, having a dig at you personally. But if even if I do it, and I do it around obviously people that have brought me up to be. Uh, a pretty understanding grown man. Some people that are in the circles of football or rugby are probably the worst. Of, of I'm not going to say the low of the low, but in terms of uh, homophobic comments, there's probably all. There's, it's said in in banter, but some people really mean it. So, what do the RWRU do? Gosh, the the clubs, the clubs, and the glass root of calling for people's heads, and the heads need to roll. You've got a serious problem, and you've got a serious problem from the top down. That that I won't say would uh, almost endorse the culture. You're not doing anything to stop it, so you're pretty much doing as close as that. So by not confronting issues of of sexism in the workplace because some of the comments i heard on television you're thinking has that person really i think the person said um they would want to rape the person and they've said that pub, pub, in a, in a, in in public in a public space in a, to me, that is not even to think about that is unacceptable. To to to, to it doesn't. Okay, you find that person attractive, but to go to that extreme, and to, for the person to be able to hear that in earshot to say, somebody's got to kind of go. That's 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 serious. That's that's not funny. That's you need to come in my office now. And do, why do you think that behavior is acceptable in the workplace? Because I believe, probably from my upbringing, equal, equal, I believe in equality. I believe, could be probably equality over the board. But as in, if you're the best person for the job, it shouldn't matter what color you are, mm -hmm. what gender you are, what religion you've got. If you're the best, shouldn't matter. But there's that disparity no matter what. So for your case, Adam, you'd be in the minority in the argument that we're living in present day because your opinion as a white male doesn't matter. As far as some people are concerned, that's a, that's not acceptable because you can bring a different narrative to that argument. You might, you we both as males may not understand how it feels to be a woman to to experience to experience that comment mm. because we wouldn't wouldn't tolerate it with our mother, our sister, aunt. Be dude, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you because you're not gonna talk about a family member of mine like that you're going to take the consequences that you're going to get probably get gbh but for the person to think that it's okay to think like that but if you to put it into perspective if you were to talk like that to you about your sister your mother something freaking wrong with you because you wouldn't do it so i'm i'm getting really really agitated with with, with the subject but as in it's something that needs to be talked about because the culture that we live in because of probably this mm -hmm. access to porn to what you're hearing about how young boys speak about girls in schools 
that's going to get worse because in terms of being able to to think that it's acceptable to what what because of what you see on porn is it's not real you can't treat a person like that you can't be, treat, treat a person like a piece of property that's obviously a different argument in terms of we go down that we're going into Andrew Tate territory but in terms of you you you've got to view women on par this this notion of woke is of we're talking about you know gender not helping because i'm i'm not having a go at homosexuals lesbians trans whatever you've got a right to that's your life as long as you don't flout it in my face i've got no problem with it but in terms of this is obviously making the issue more complex because people don't know if they're coming right left right or center well what's my gender today what's my gender tomorrow i know i'm a male i'm okay with my emotions does that make me a lesser man in some quarters probably yes because i need to be strong i need to be busy like yeah but what's wrong with weakness what, Seems... what's wrong with me being comfortable with who i am so i know i'm coming away from the subject adam of of, of that issue but it it, it is culturally toxic it, no i agree a toxic environment they gotta kind of go need to put need to throw a grenade in there and start again and that's probably be going on oh probably since the 50s because you 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 talk about um oh gosh what's the footballer's name Which one? Think There's been a few. Name. Blake, Blake, Blake. Used to be for Cardiff. I can't think of his first. His not Nathan, not uncle... Nathan, Nathan Blake. Yeah, Nathan Blake. The guy, he did the, a... His 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 uncle played for Hull in rugby league. Yeah, but he yeah. had to leave Wales because he would never play. He would never play for Wales for Wales because of his colour of his mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. He's got a street. He's got pretty much. I well, when we've come, when I've travelled from Belgium to come back to the UK and come back, uh, gone on North Sea ferries, no endorsement to the company, but. Um, the street going out to Hull is named after him. Another part of of Britain, very working class, same as South Wales with the valleys. How is it possible for them to embrace him and he'd be loved by two sets of fans that hate each other in the, in, in the sporting terms that he brought a city together, whereas... As far as the union was concerned, because of what colour he was, he would never play for the country. So um, we're we're talking of a generation that, well, it's my grandma's and she's not alive, but as in I've had that, the, the, when she was alive, I even had this discussion with her of, um, I can't remember what she said verbatim, but she's like, oh, I accept you, but not the black. I was like, and my mom let me take that for myself. I was like, I've got a problem with that, that you can only love one oh, half of me. And she was in tears, but I think it was more, more in the sense of, cause I stood up for myself as that's hurtful because you don't accept half of me because it's not, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say she was a racist. She was definitely, uh, I shouldn't laugh about this. Um, what's the word? Prejudiced. I think everybody's got a prejudice, and if people, I think most, most people, if they don't admit to that, you lie, you're lying. But it it does create divide, and it does create a racism because it's swinging too far from one extreme to the other. Because if you you were to ask, because my my dad's a, a, a American, I'm black mother's white so it's almost like a total disregard for one of the parents and britain's going that way it's like no i'm comfortable being here i'm quite up in the middle i'm not sitting on the fence i'm gonna not cherry pick the best of both there's good and bad there's obviously well in britain we would they've turned down monuments only a few years ago because they didn't agree it's like 
That's Liverpool's history. That's Bristol's history. It's not. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not saying it's right. But that's not the city's fault. That's probably a couple hundred people. That's benefited as a result of bringing in um, slavery. Slavery still exists in, the, in this day. If you look hard enough. Mm. So... I know we've gone slightly off the the, the thing of, of the with the WIU, but they near they really as as grown men need to look hard up in the mirror in terms of what what is it that we're trying to because they, they 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 as a sports body everything that goes wrong with sport obviously look that look so be it from this to British gymnastics with bullying to blah 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 it brings out obviously society can kind of go well sport's not so perfect yeah but society can learn a lot from sport because look at people of there's different religions there's different um, parts of society playing the same sport in most cases, we'll use rugby because it's easier because of the massive. If we looked at Twickenham to say Wales, for instance, or we go from the home counties to Sale up in not far from Maine and in, in, in Greater Manchester and Newcastle, it's a massive disconnect between yeah. the, the north and the, the, the south from a most things because most people don't like London as it is but because it's all done that I understand why things do it but if you're disenfranchising the next generation you're creating some of these problems because if the person's not able to be well they are outspoken that's probably some of the problem but as in it's more like the blame culture oh Look at the look at this dumpster fire over here. Yeah, but what about your own issues? You're not you're not so perfect yourself. Um. So, how do they resolve it? I th I think with the not with the, coming back to the, obviously the on I think it need with them playing badly. It makes it more obvious because when they were winning, paint over the cracks. Oh, it's no problems. It's like there is, but. And when you paint over the cracks, it's not helping this year because you're just making it worse because you're not willing to uh, see the problems as what they are. So it's almost like sweeping stuff under the rug. Mm. Not great for, for if you were to do that as an individual, it's not great for your mental health because you're not willing to deal with that that issue, that problem, that adversity right now. And it could be the small, could be you're making a mountain out of a molehill. If you were too willing to deal with it, oh, oh, it wasn't so bad. I wish I'm happy I dealt with it now. Or you wait months, years, as this has transpired, because we're probably talking about decades. That it that is bad. And obviously we were talking about the first thing they did, they banned the song. Okay. Yes, the lyrics are unacceptable. The fans did sung it anyway. Out of, out of being rebellious. So I, I, I thought that was gonna happen. I think we the first and, and obviously the media had a go at them. It's like you do that when you've got all other issues you could would take maybe a little bit longer to to to, to I'm not gonna say resolve, but they would take a little bit longer to kinda it's not you don't put a statement out when this is now banned. It's gonna take some due process to be able to work through and, and look at these lit litigations that, that I think that one of the ladies that put in I think they paid her off it's like that's still emitting guilt because you if you if you were innocent you were not paying people off um same with um Gareth Thomas with his HIV thing mm -hmm. he, he, oh I, I don't admit I don't I don't <clears throat> I'm, I'm not bashing him as a person but you take responsibility if you're paying people off because that's not one way to get rid of the problem. Oh, I'll pay you a lump of sum and the problem goes away. Or I or I give you a injunction and think and oh, I can't remember the, and and oh, what's the, the, the me, me I can't remember what it is, but as in 
the disclosure that you can't give out information until until due course. That's hush. That's hush money. So am I surprised sport hits this all time low? Because I was in it. I was in it. So do, do, do I think there'd be that these that sort of scat? No, but in terms of you, 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 you second guess and you look at your own career and kind of go, well, is that racism? Is that racism? Is is that bullying? Is so I've looked at hard, hard take at my own career in terms of when I've had like real low moments later on in life. Thinking, well, you've messed, you've really messed me up in the head because you, there's no, there's not been this true. I'll call it safeguarding. This, the sport is not in it for the individual. It's for it's it's in it for the the moment that that person is still productive. No longer productive, you can go on the slug heap. 